Pa pow. Hi everybody, Martin from Branco Customs here. What do you think of my chopper? It's pretty sweet, huh? Well, I recently made this for a chap who uh, he said my bill hook's just not heavy enough, and he works with it for his business. So he wants something that's going to do the job and bring a bit of excitement into every day. So he said, Martin, make me a chopper. He drew me a picture. He said. This is what I want. I want a nice curved edge for a bill hook. I also want a kind of nice uh, machete chopping edge. And I want a third edge that I can keep nice and sharp for cutting string and things like that. Other than that, we got a nice uh, flat edge on the inside here. I'll bring it a little closer so you can have a look. This little one here for bashing things, he said. And also an end that's nice and flat and made of metal for bashing other stuff. So. This is what we came up with. We added a nice bit of uh, texture in just to give it a pretty cool um, war-torn look. We gave him a couple of options. We said, uh, you know, we can do it nice and shiny and clean, or uh, we can do it with a, a rough kind of finish. And um, that way when he starts using it and it starts to get a nice bit of wear and tear, it's just gonna add to the patina. So we've got a bit of a treat for you where I'm now gonna go and do a little bit of testing to make sure that the heat treatment and everything stands up the way that I think it should. Um, so come along, see how we get on. Right, so I'm actually going to start by getting rid of this little pine tree because it's in a place where we don't really need a pine tree. And um, what better thing to test out a bill hook on than a pine tree? So we're going to try the, uh, the back edge first of all. Maybe take off a few of these little limbs and uh, see how that goes. So let's have a look. Interesting. Right. Well, I know you're all here for the big show, which is the main edge. Let's have a go on the trunk of the tree and see how that works out. Edge held up just fine. Let's go find something else to chop. Right, so we're down here in the bottom of the garden, and I've got this oak tree, which is fine, but it's got a few dead branches on the base of it. Because this poor thing had to go through a uh, forest fire a couple of years back, and it's come back to life, but not all the little branches made it. So let's give a test to the bill hook here and uh, take off a few of these little side shoots. As you'll see, I'm not really an expert tree surgeon myself, so I'm just hacking at it, but still a good test for A, how well does it cut? Can you do it without using loads of energy? Or is it heavy enough, which I think it's gonna be pretty darn good. But it seems to work. So there we go, that's a slightly thicker and live branch as well, just for a good test, which uh, is absolutely fine. That is still razor sharp. Okay, so wandering around the garden looking for other trees to chop, and this uh, little pine tree at the front here is probably two and a half, three inches diameter, is uh, no more. So let's have a chop at that and uh, See how that comes down using the primary uh, machete style edge. So let's have a go on here. Right. So I'll bring you in so you can have a closer look. Now that there is some seasoned dried wood because this tree's been dead a little while as you may be able to tell absolutely no sap in it and it's rock hard however they're just standing up pretty nicely well it's immaculate all 
All right, so here's a little bit of a close up of me finishing this off. We just go from the side here. Pretty happy about it. Okay, so this one here, we're at the base of a large chestnut tree, which has got all these side shoots coming off it. So uh, take the opportunity to do a spot of gardening. Um, I'm pretty sure these side shoots shouldn't be here, so let's take a few off. Okay, let's see how it goes for chopping a few of these to size. I think you should do the job. Okay, so now we're finished with all the chopping demonstrations. Um, just show you the sheath quickly. So we've got double metal spring clips on the back here, so you can put it onto your belt or your pocket, whatever you fancy. Um, and then there was a bit of a challenge here because of the shape of the blade. Obviously a straight in out sheath wouldn't work because of the hook we've got on the end here. So what I did was put a popper onto the side. So you can actually slide it down, slight angle, and it basically just straightens up into there, clip the popper down, and you're ready to go. All locked in, and it ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs>